okay i think we are ready who is this i'm vlogging go away please hi guys good morning today's monday 26th of september it's officially um day one first day of school as an international student in the uk can see my id card oh let me turn it this way i don't want you to see my face <laughs> I already, I already put it up on Instagram, but still, I'm ashamed of this ID card. The, the, the picture they use is not it at all. But, anyways, I'm so excited. I woke up since 6 a.m. My class is by 10, and this is 9. I want to get to school before 10. I want to get to school like maybe 9 15 so that I can look for my lecture theater. That school is big. I don't know. The last time I went there to collect my ID card, I was trying to find where to collect the ID card. Till I finally found it, but it took us about 15 minutes to find the particular place where I was supposed to collect my ID card. So I don't want it to be like that today. So I want to get there very early before 10 so that I can at least um, look for the lecture theater and, you know, sit down, get ready and all of that stuff. Um, what else? I've not had breakfast. I'm hungry. And imagine I, I'm not going to come back till 6 p.m. I have a class from 10 to 2. Then I have another one from 2 to 6. Um, today I'm going to change the timetable luckily for us you can actually change your timetable if it's not convenient for you I've been trying to do it online it has not been working so when I get to school today I'll just go to the information desk and ask them how I can change the timetable because I can't do 10 to 2 then 2 to um, 6 in the same lecture hall guys like it's not a different place so as people are leaving I'm still seated like it doesn't just make sense for me at all so I'm going to figure out how to change that one uh yeah what else i'm actually ready uh, let me show you what i'm putting on see i don't know <laughs> this is day one so i'm trying not to overdress and at the same time i'm trying not to underdress if that makes sense um i don't know how people dress here so i'm just going to figure it out when i get to school today and i see what other people are putting on then i think i can you know now come up with my own style and how i will be dressing permanently in this place but for now i'm just wearing like um sweater a normal regular sweater because it's cold but funny thing is that the cold cold like it's not yet winter this is just fall but getting to winter so it's not really that cold like it's not bad it's not bad 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 kind of cold like i can survive with just sweater but then when we enter winter when we get to winter i will need coats jackets and all of that and i haven't bought all those things yet so i'll buy them before winter but for now, I'm just putting on regular sweater and jeans. That's it. So this is basically first day of school outfit. Nothing too serious. Nothing too flashy. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out how to dress in this place so that I can finally discover my style. Um, this ID card, I think I'm going to put it in my bag. I don't want everyone to know that I'm a student on the road and all yeah so as for makeup i didn't do much i just put lip gloss and powder and eye pencil this is how i even do makeup in university when i was in ou i just used to use only powder and lip gloss because uh, let's face it i'm too fine no matter what i do i'll still be fine and i'll be attracting boys so i don't want to attract boys <laughs> i don't want to attract boys in this new city so let me just let me just go like this the way i am you get it so now as for transportation that's another talk that's another story i want to take an uber today mind you i'm not going to be taking ubers every day in fact i want to learn how to take the bus and i want to learn how to take the train because let's be sincere it's cheaper than uber and i'm not about to be overspending in this new city okay i'm trying to you know um, what they call it, it's cut down on the way I spend, all right? Because it's the one and I don't want to misplace, I'm going to take an Uber to school today. Then, maybe from next week, when my mom comes, she's going to teach me how to do the bus and train thing. And she also told me to get one card like that, they call it Oyster card. She see my mom this week, when she comes, she's going to explain everything to me. Trust me, she's very excited to come this week, like she's over excited. <laughs> So, because she's currently, she's not in London. I'm in London and she's outside London. So, when she comes, she's going to teach me how to take a bus, use train and all of that. But this week, I think I'll use an Uber. But then again, it's not far. Um, that's why I picked this particular apartment because it's not far from my school. It's six minutes with car. 
just six minutes but if i'm using the bus is 28 minutes if i'm taking a bus so if i decide to start using the bus as from next week i have to be waking up earlier getting done um on time so that i can catch the bus or if i decide to take the, the metro whatever because those ones have their own different time like for bus 28 minutes i said i want to be ready today this is day one i don't want to enter the lecture theater sweating and everybody's already seated <laughs> because i'm late and i'm trying not to be late this morning and i'm not late actually i'm not late at all um i'm really excited i already packed my bag you guys already saw it okay this bag is heavy my laptop is inside and my ipad is inside i haven't yet figured out whether i should be taking just one either my laptop or my ipad i want to go today i want to see how, what other people are doing i want to see if people are coming with their laptops only or people are coming with their ipads only or people are coming with laptops and ipads you know stuff like that like, I, I just want to be ready for everything like i just want to come prepared i don't want to like leave my laptop in the house and i get to school and i see that the lecturer is not saying everybody bring out your laptops <laughs> and, I, and i didn't come with my own so that's why i decided to pack boots laptop an ipad and there's a notepad inside also yeah so that's it let me call my bar where's my phone uh michael is just laughing at me here <laughs> see this is, i don't like vlogging in front of him he's always laughing like what was wrong with this girl guys i'm going to be so hungry the only thing i had this morning was this this smoothie i took that other tiny camera so i'm going to be using it to be vlogging as i'm outside and not my phone i don't use my phone guys let me try and use that camera for once where's my uber app another thing i noticed here that i'm not used to is that you pay for your uber before the ride starts now that is just weird and that is so annoying because <laughs> why am i paying for uber before the ride starts like it's not like that in nigeria and it's not like that in dubai um in nigeria you obviously know you request for both you see the amount you enter once your trip is over you pay same thing with dubai but here in the uk you have to pay so now it's 10 pounds to middlesex and i've already paid the 10 pounds now like i just paid for it and all which is so annoying so if I decide to cancel now, anyway, they used to refund, Sha. They do refund. So I'm going to go downstairs and wait for my Uber. Inside is very hot and I want to receive fresh air. So I'm on my way to class already. Yes, now, but I want to go early. <laughs> I want to go so that I can find my the lecture theater now. <laughs> Mommy, leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. <laughs> See, I should not go early to class again. Uh -huh, thank you. So let me go there early so that I can get my lecture theater. Guys, I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where my building is. Where this lecture theater is. I've just been going around. I don't even know where I'm going to right now. Uh, somebody directed me to this area, but now I think I've gone missing. Oh, I've seen it. Williams building. So, guys, I finally found the business school. Business school is inside Williams building. It took me a while, but I figured it out. <laughs> and everywhere was so quiet, like extremely quiet. Lectures had really started for some people, so I needed to stay quiet as I was walking this corridor. Oh, she's the one we are having first. Yeah, uh, managing and developing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Hi. okay. Hi. Can you just... You can just start with it. Okay, I don't even know it's off. I just got to this. You have your ideas. Yeah, yeah. Yes. you did yes. it to go in or out of the building. You know that, right? Yeah. But there's always somebody coming in. Some, yeah. Now. So I joined the queue. It was so long. I said, you know what? It's just the back. first no. floor. Uh, about the admissions department yeah the i know the yeah. yeah but the queue was extremely long oh, okay. normally it just takes five when minutes when i got mine the queue was not long at all. yeah 
I was the first one, I think, for my <laughs> I'll pick it up later. Yeah. Okay. Three, just three weeks. Yeah. Two. I will give you a call if I can get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you have to help yeah. me with this spelling. <laughs> I'll just write my shot. I'll write MDF just so that. Okay. <laughs> So guys, at first I was complaining about having to carry my ID card everywhere I go with me on campus. I didn't know how important it was till I got to school on Monday and I realized that you always have to carry your ID card because you won't be able to enter in and out of certain rooms on campus, like certain spaces, like some lecture theaters, you can't have access to them unless you have your id card to help you go into the space so at the end of the day it was important um so right now i'm actually on my way to the cafeteria um i want to go have lunch it's actually lunch time well there's not like a specific lunch time lunch time but once it's like 1 p.m or 2 p.m just expected that you leave the classrooms and just go and look for something to eat and this is the cafeteria guys they have like different um food spots here there's subway subway is here um this one that i'm at right now is like the campus main main one and you can see like there are other places here i didn't show you guys around but there are other places so i've already gotten my food and i'm just showing you guys how much i spent and what i got that day i think i spent about nine pounds yeah i think i spent about nine pounds um and i no it's not nine pounds it's eight pounds <laughs> and i think i got sweet potato fries and burger the burger was nothing to write home about it was terrible honestly speaking like extremely extremely terrible but the fries was very okay hi let me remo remove this id card because i'm back from school i am so exhausted guys we successfully it's our first day of school i decided to make this video like a different video on its own like just first day of school um as an international student in the uk because it's just kind of memorable for me so i will never forget this day the first day i started masters in united kingdom uh mba so i'm really proud of myself i did well today but uh, i have so many things to see where should i start from like the experience like i want to be extremely honest like extremely extremely honest i'll be rating so many things and talking about everything that i went through today and things that i will not do again just so you know tuesdays they've changed my timetable all over again so my off days are tuesdays and fridays so tuesdays and fridays i don't go to school how cool is that so tomorrow i'm going to spend tomorrow editing there's a video I, I need to finish uh, moving to the UK video. I haven't edited that yet, so I have to edit it because I want to upload it tomorrow by 4 p.m. so I can do that tomorrow. Uh, so Tuesdays and Fridays, you're going free. Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, I'm not free. 10 to 6 p.m. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. No, Monday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, which is crazy. But yeah, so let me start with my lecturer is dr jackie and she's black okay um but she's not african like you know what is um, black british kind of people yeah that's who she is and um i could actually hear what she was saying like i said her british accent was not kong and she was so playful she tried her best to like play with everybody like she was very playful she had. but at the same time the thing i hated was we had so many exercises we did so many exercises in the class i'm like my brain was just bootsy like i was just coming back into the whole school setting and you're giving me so many exercises to do in one day let me show you guys some all of these these are not like assignments but like exercises done in the class you know four hours everything was four hours 10 to 2 pm so she just kept on bringing them and bringing them and bringing them see i haven't done this 
So when her time was up, she told us to take this home as assignment. Also, we are having her again on Wednesday. So yeah. So what I did today was um, developing and managing people. Yeah, that was the course I took today. Yeah, you know, remember I told you guys in the morning, I don't know if we are if we supposed to use laptops or iPads or anything. Apparently, you can either use laptop or iPad, but I think I'll be using my laptop because um, it's preferable for me. If you see the resources we used for today's course, it was long, 27 pages, and everything was so tiny. Like, very tiny, 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 27 pages, and we were told to read all 27 pages in class and try to summarize and outline um keywords and explain them in class yes but as a group share all these exercises i don't know if they're adding it to anything i don't know i should did them i don't know what i did i should did something <laughs> i haven't been to school in like four years or three three years so you know i'm still settling in very well also i just realized that i need to go and buy my coats and jackets because this weather is not it it is cold and it is raining at the same time and people that have been staying in the uk they're telling me that the weather is not even that bad and i'm like the weather is bad it is bad today when i was going out to the cafeteria to eat I was freezing this sweater is not it at all so I think that's what I'm going to do on Saturday on Saturday I'm going to go out and get myself jackets and coats because I saw people wearing them never tell you guys that I will come and you know just see what people are putting on and all um, and yeah I saw people putting on coats and jackets that have been staying in London their whole life they will say it's not cold but me that I'm coming in to me it's cold I really don't it's cold my classmates most of them are Indians my classmates most of them are Indians um, I think we had like one British person then there was one from United States then I'm the only person from Nigeria so far we're actually supposed to be 28 but guess how many people came to class today? 11. Do you know where the rest are? They're still trying to get visa. Like they're waiting for their visas. The rest are coming from different parts of the world and they have not yet come in. October 14th is like the deadline. Once you're not in school by October 14th, I don't know whether they will cancel your admission. I don't know. But that's just their own deadline, Sha. First day experience. So this is this is my first day experience. So my next class is on Wednesday. So my Wednesday, I think I'll be okay now i have things to do um because i have like a to-do list and i'm so happy that i've been able to be productive since i came here i actually thought that i won't be able to do it but honestly get yourself a to-do list i have i'm using notion for all of these things once you just get yourself a to-do list just write everything you need to do so now that i'm back at home the next thing i want to do is just to edit my video the next thing i want to do is just to work i have some work to do on my system luckily for me i came home to bin so i'm going to eat it beans and turkey this is actually from a Ghanaian restaurant so yeah i haven't even told you guys nigerian restaurants are extremely far from us so they always take time so there's this Ghanaian restaurant that's very close to us yesterday i had their fried rice and it was so good ghana fried rice ghana jollof fries is actually good <laughs> it's good but it's not better than nigerian jollof rice obviously i represent my country but it's not bad at all like it is not bad and they have this this black i don't know i don't know what they call it, it is black sauce that they add to the rice ah it's always so good like very good i've been eating ghana food since i got here because they are the only ones that are like close to us uh i want to end the vlog because my day is over i'm back home that's everything i will see you guys in my next video bye